What if I told you the thing inside this box is going to change everything for us? This is the remote signer, which I got from Nostra.com, built by the LMBits team, specifically BC, Black Coffee BTC. You've done an absolutely incredible job, BC. Thank you very much. Um, and inside here is a small device which I can use to manage my private key and sign notes while I'm using my phone. So I can have my private key on here and it will sign notes for me when I'm on my client on my phone. I don't have to have my private key on my phone. It's using the NSEC bunker and it's using the bunker protocol, but it's not on somebody else's hardware. It's on your hardware, which you own, and it's plugged into your network. So if we open this up, we get a fancy bit of fluff. This means it's a quality product. And then a free sticker, always nice. Nice touch, BC. Thank you very much. Beautiful sticker. Makes it worth it just for the sticker. But then when we actually open it, look at that. Wow, beautiful. So I can put my private key on here and it's going to be safe and sound, plugged into my home network, signing my notes for me. Look at the build quality. Ooh, this thing really is gorgeous. Look at the form factor and the buttons. It's all clicky and it's just so well designed and built. It's such a simple, tiny little device. Little will people know what this thing's being used for when it's plugged into your home network. Let's get this thing plugged in and we're going to start signing some notes on it. To get your remote signer, head on over to shop.allenbits.com. Go to the NOSTA section. You'll see the remote signer there for £50. That's about $80. And a whole bunch of other very nice NOSTA swags, such as this wonderful little NOSTA pin badge. Buying things on the LMBits shop really helps support us and really helps support projects like this and helps us with our development. So please do go and get your remote signer from our shop. Um, once you've done that, you're going to want to go to nostaconnect.com. This may be on nostaconnect.lmbits.com in the future, but for now it's on nostaconnect.com. Of course, we need to plug in our device. When we plug it in, we get this nice little message here telling us to go to, go to nostaconnect.com. Click on firmware update. And then click on it. There we go. Click on install firmware. You get this box pop up. Click on the hardware. Ah, now another important note is I'm using Chrome, you need to be using Chrome or Chromium or Brave, a Chrome-based browser in order to use Web Serial, which is the protocol we're using to push the binary onto the device. Click on connect. And then it'll ask me if I want to install. Yes, I do. I want to erase device. I'll clear the memory on there and then click install. Now this is erasing the memory on the microcontroller and then it's pushing the binary. Now it's important to note this is a very dumb device which just does one thing and one thing well and that is as a remote sign it hasn't got a whole operating system on and that's exactly what you want that's why our hardware wallets are um, just microcontrollers doing a very specific thing and just as the more software you have on your device the larger your attack vector so we really just want this to be a remote signer for our Nostra keys and that's it while we're waiting for that to erase and push the binary onto the device, I'm going to go over to, there we go, you can see it pushing the binary. See, it's pretty quick because it's actually a very small sketch, um, the software. I'm going to go over to nostra.com and I'm going to generate some keys. Um, you'll see that we've given nostra.com a bit of a lick of paint as well, which is nice. So just click on join nostra if you're generating keys here. Obviously, you can use your own NSEC if you want to. Um, I'm just going to use this for the demo. Click on copy. Um, it's really nice, the Nostra.com update and the key generation as well. Thank you, Fiat Jeff, for building that for us. Um, I can click on download keys and I'll download a text file of the keys. And then I can create my profile, a publish profile. Um, and then I can make my first notes, publish post. Very nice. I've got my NSEC. So I can click on home, connect to the device again. Add my in second here. Go to the top, add in your Wi Fi, blah, and then your super secure password. Um, by default, it comes with connecting to the relay, relay.nsec.app. Um, but we did, we found that it wasn't as reliable as we wanted. So I'm using um, relay.nostaiot.com. Click upload configuration. Confirm. It says it's uh, uploaded the configuration. So now all I need to do is unplug the device. 
plug it in again, it should say good morning. And then it'll connect to the internet. And then it will connect to the relay. Then it will go black. That worked exactly as we wanted it to. So this is connected to that relay. I'm going to go into my phone and open my client. I'm going to be using Coracle um, for this demo. Now, the only um, annoying thing about Coracle is that um, when you click on login and you go to remote signer, you can't scan a QR code on here. We're going to scan a QR code on the device. So I have to just get my regular QR code scanner. Press the, the first button on the device, hold it down, and it'll pop up a QR code. Scan that. Um, this is your bunker um, string. Copy that. And then paste that into your client. Click Connect. You'll see the sign of flash a couple of times. And there we are. We're connected. Um, it's searching, searching for my profile in the network. And then it comes up with this thing. For some reason, I have to click select relays manually and then click on this little button here to get it to close. Um, and now I can sign my first note or my second note because I, I made a note already, haven't I? Um, so I'm going to click on post. I'm going to type in my um, my notes. Actually, I should probably say something a bit better than that, shouldn't I? Signed with uh, Nostr.com remote signer. There we go. Now, when I click on send, you'll see the little device flash. That means it's signing the note, and then it publishes the note. So I can go take a look at my profile. You can see there it's got my name on there, Ben, which I set from Nostar.com. Sign with my Nostar.com remote signer. And it's working. Now, as long as this is plugged in, it will sign notes. So if I unplug it, try and make a post, send, it's just going to hang, not do anything, because obviously it's not turned on, because this is where the private key is, which needs to sign the note. So I'll close that and I'll show you how quickly it connects. Connected to Wi-Fi. Now, when I click post again, because it's been unplugged, when I click send, it'll say, do you want to accept? So just because I plugged it in again, you need to press that accept button once and that will be signing all my notes for me. So I can just go ahead Start spamming Nasta with my stupid notes. It's running, and every time I send a post, I love the way it just kind of does a little flash to tell you that it's signing that note. It's so very cool. This is what I want. I want my private key somewhere safe, and I want to be able to walk around putting stupid notes on Nasta all day long without worrying if I lose my phone or my device that my private key is going to be compromised. So thank you very much, BC, for building this amazing thing. Everybody, go along to shop.lmbits.com, buy yourself one of these. It'll help support the project, and also you should really look after those private keys. Till next time, cheers. Bye.